Listen. B. You will hear part of an interview with Helen Partridge, a girl that has recently been in the news. Listen and answer the questions. Choose A, B, or C. And on to our next guest. Her name is Helen Partridge, and she was in the newspapers because she became the number one potterite in the country. What does that mean? Do you make pots or something? No, a potterite is a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> I was only joking. Now you won a competition last week. Tell us about it. Well, I entered a competition for the number one potterite in the country, and the final was last week. It was difficult, as there are many dedicated potterites out there, and I am very proud to say that I am now considered the best. What sort of questions did you have to answer? Well, there were a lot of questions about the books and the films, but also about Harry's school, Hogwarts, and the magical world that he lives in. There were also quite a few tricky ones about the characters, but I managed to answer them. The final question was, when is Harry Potter's birthday? Does the writer J.K. Rowling reveal Harry's date of birth? Of course, but it isn't mentioned in the books. She revealed it in an interview later. Some people believe that the actor who plays Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe, has the same birthday, but that isn't true. His birthday is on the twenty-third of July, but Harry was born on the thirty-first of July, nineteen eighty. Interestingly, it is the same date as J.K. Rowling's birthday, although she was born in nineteen sixty-five. Wow, you certainly know your stuff. Is there anything you don't know about Harry Potter? I hope not. I've read all the books many times. I've seen all the films. I've got the DVDs, and I've got all the computer games. And next month, I'm planning to visit the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios in Florida. I've even got my own website, which contains enormous amounts of information about Harry Potter. Well, anyone can see that Harry Potter is a big part of your life. Harry is like a friend to me. I mean, he's intelligent and very brave. He can be a bit stubborn sometimes, but he always does the right thing. He's also very loyal to his friends. Yes, a true friend that supports you is always good to have, and that's definitely a good role model. Now let's look at some texts, tweets, and emails that people have sent in.